guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're about ready to watch a show that I've wanted to watch since we started Blind Wave. Decades. This thing has been on so many polls, and finally, finally, it's won. Yes. Band of Brothers. It's been on my list for a while, and then once we started Blind Wave, I'm like, well, I hear good things about it, I'll just wait. <laughs> yep. Maybe we'll watch it at some point. I've seen it many, 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 many times. Really? There's a sequel series to this too, right? Which I have not seen. The, the Pacific. 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 Yeah. yeah. I don't know like anything about that one at all. I mean, you know a little. Uh, <laughs> war. That's all I know. I, don't, I really don't know what war, what we're, we're going to be focusing on. I just know that it's a war series. Really? That's all I know. I don't know any actors. Really? The Pacific the is based on giant robots fighting like alien dimensional that's monsters. That's Atlantic Rim by Asylum Studios. I don't think that's right. I don't know why I would confuse Pacific and Atlantic. There are oceans. I say Pacific. I was I being very tomorrow. Pacific in what I said. <laughs> Every time you what? Every time I say Pacific, I think I'm saying it wrong. There's some type of thing in my brain where I think I'm saying specific. Sure. Yeah. Dang. Went on Daffy Duck. Well, that won't be a problem because this is Banner Brothers, not yeah. Pacific. And with this being the first episode of the series, too, we also have full length for all the episodes, but you can check out the first, whether you're a patron or not, down in the description and or over at our website. So check out that. Link's all down below. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Early access available as well. Next four episodes. Yes. Patreon. So this is uh, kind of like the Blues Brothers then, right? Eric, you Band said war. Brothers. Which is exactly what Blues Brothers is. <laughs> <laughs> I already did my thing. <laughs> Who would like to volunteer for the tank corps? Who would like to volunteer for the Air Force? Who would like to volunteer for the Navy or whatever? And then uh, they said, Who would like to volunteer for the Airborne? So I said, What the hell is the Airborne? Nobody ever heard of it. <laughs> All three fellows in that town were, that were 4F committed suicide because they couldn't go. What? Yeah. At a different time. I did things. I didn't do them for medals. I didn't do them for accolades. I did them because they, that's what had to be done. You know, you got all your army equipment, and you jump out of airplanes uh, to fight the enemy. They said, go to hell. Nobody put up their hands. And then, I don't know what it was, brought it up, but the, the guy giving the, the speech was saying, but you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it 100 bucks. <laughs> Jeez. 100 <laughs> bucks. I know parachuting with all the equipment and stuff was a lot rougher on knees and stuff, too, with people landing and stuff. 110 pounds worth of stuff. Yeah. Including you. I know it's not, but I would be fine if it was just better stocking. I, I love documentaries. <laughs> yeah. We do get quite a bit of it. Okay, good. Thanks. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Most... Calvin watch Office Space. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Is that who the guy was? Yeah. Ah! I didn't recognize Abraham. him. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Tom Hanks is TV Spielberg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Yes. It is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name, but that guy's face. Uh, Neil McDonough? Yeah. That sounds right. Is that right? Yeah. The Channel Coast is socked in with rain and fog. High winds on the drop zone. No jump tonight. The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand now. Oh, Chaz, that would be Probably all about adrenaline and nothing to do with it, you know? Michael Fassman? Yeah. Holy crap. Huh. Young. <clears throat> Two years earlier. Is this going to be boot camp, maybe? You people are at the position hey, of attention! Ross. What? He is such an underrated actor. This is a different role. <laughs> of course, I haven't seen this, so maybe... Yeah, he was, like, the most famous guy at the time. Volunteering for the parachute infantry is one thing, Percante, but you've got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend pass is revoked. I wouldn't take this rusty piece of shit to war, and I will not take you to war in your condition. Now, thanks to these men and their infractions... <laughs> Every man in the company who had a weekend pass has lost oh. it. Well, damn. Well, he's going to make it through camp. Wait, I know that guy. That's what I've been saying. That's from... Yeah, okay. You know where he's from then, right? DC somewhere, right? I no, it's Supernatural. That's... That's it. Yeah. That's it. Because I was like, is he mixed? I'm like, that's not who he is. Who no. is he? That makes so much more sense. Okay. 
But when you looked at me, I thought, like, oh no, you've been saying it for minutes and I've just been ignoring you. <laughs> and I can't place this guy's face. I didn't know who you were talking about. I owe Silver! I owe Silver. Are you just happy you're sitting? Yeah. I'm just happy. I'm so yeah. happy I'm sitting right now. God, I love my chair. I love my chair like Steven Seagal loves his chair. I love your chair like Steven Seagal likes to win fights in his movies. Yeah. <laughs> Look, night scenes that we can see. HBO can do it. <laughs> Used to. <laughs> Magic of film. Right? Wait, you're just getting rid of the water? Okay, that's dumb. If anybody's water runs out too soon. Who is this? Christensen! They Why were is there heavily no water penalized. in your canteen? You drank from your canteen, didn't you? Private Christensen, you have disobeyed a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Yes, sir. Okay, brown and 30. Immediately. Fuck. Oh. Uh, I it's muck. Yep. Gotta get him used to blood and guts. Mm -hmm. I want him in the airborne, sir! You have 50 minutes to the top and back, and I will be watching you. 50 what minutes are you waiting to for? the top and back? Man had 200 prophylactic kits in his footlocker. How in the name of God was he gonna have the strength <laughs> to fight the war? <laughs> <laughs> you find reasons not to give him a promotion? Is that what he's doing? What is this? Yes. Yep, that's him. Anybody? Damn. Uh, I think a, a special meal before their afternoon off would be a welcome change of pace. Would you agree? Yes, sir. I like spaghetti. Yeah! <laughs> what has changed? Get oh, off! No. The operations are canceled! Easy Company is running up curry! Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I would eat that so fast. No. Yeah, but you're gonna throw it up. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Sometimes I, it's better school, not to have eaten. My household coach would say, go run till you puke. And that was my time. <laughs> Your uh, time to shine? I got to choose whenever it was done. <laughs> He's their first enemy they have to fight above. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was gonna say football helmets. He looks nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh. All oh, the adrenaline. Man, it just deploys immediately? Yeah, yep. That's what the thing they're grabbing onto is it pulls their deployment chute out. You can only be brave when you're afraid. Oh! Sometimes they did get caught on the tail section. That would be my biggest worry, getting caught on the plane. <laughs> I want to clear the plane. Dude, then deploy. Dude, like, you said 2001? 2001. You only get this stuff if you just go do it. It's gonna go film it. There will be no leaning in my company. Uh, era. Are those yeah. dusty yeah. jump wings? Yeah. Another show I want to watch. I love this actor so much. <laughs> you don't understand. Plus, it's good to get a drink. We're in the wrong position. We're taxable position for ambush, sir. I think we should sit tight. Let the enemy team come in our killing zone. They're right out there somewhere. Enemy Let's just get him. Sir, we have perfect cover here. Look at deploy your troops. Oh no! Hiya. Captain, you've just been killed, along with 95% of your company. Your outfit? Easy company, 2nd Battalion, 506. Luckily, that was a it's test, a like system. practice. Lieutenant Harry Wells, just in from the 82nd. Actually, I want to get hit by a paintball. Oh, thanks. I'm hearing a lot of rumblings. Sobel? Just talking about that. So, 
gets a little jumpy in the field. Mm -hmm. He gets jumpy and then you get killed. <laughs> That's nice. It might be possible he's fine for training, but not good in the field. You know? mm. Yeah. Good drill sergeant. Yeah, people have different strengths and weaknesses, you know? It might be a thing where it's like... Command is not necessarily... Yeah. Especially field command. Yeah, field command can be very different than just preparing him beforehand. He's got no chance. Either the crowd still get him, or one of us. Who, Sobel? He's good at one maneuver. Well, you know, I'm always fumbling with grenades. Easy if one went off by <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people worried. But I get what you mean, like that is one maneuver, one practice thing. But in the field, one time, you lose everything. One time is all it takes. Dear sir or madam, soon your son will drop from the sky wow. to engage and defeat the enemy. Mm -hmm. I love it. Your frequent letters of love and encouragement will arm him together. with a fighting heart. With that, he cannot fail, but will win glory for himself. Oh, I roll around too much for that. <laughs> That's okay. The ship does too. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm glad I'm going to Europe. Hitler gets one of these right across the windpipe. Roosevelt changes Thanksgiving to Joe Toy Day. for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> That looks good. <laughs> uh, that's fence. Why is there a fence here? There should be no fence here. Tipper! Yes, sir. Give me the map. Pecan and Lars. Get the men. Get them. Take cover behind those trees. There should be no, there should be no fence here. Um, <clears throat> we, we could go over it, sir. Really? That's not the point. We're the goddamn... We're the goddamn hell out. Man, he's so good. Mm -hmm. What is the goddamn hold-up, Mr. Sober? <laughs> Offense! Sir, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> now, you cut that bitch and get this goddamn platoon on the move! Yes, sir! Oh, man. <laughs> Further in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, right? And no, he's the even cows are gonna get out further later. Dude, this guy's gonna see a bunch of soldiers just <laughs> run across <laughs> this fence. <laughs> he just turns around. <laughs> I love this old guy. You've done it now, Yanks. You've captured me. <laughs> Why does he do the Lone Ranger? <laughs> who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was Horton, sir. By who? Major Horton, sir. Major Horton is on leave in London. That blink. Their orders are Oh, man. Oh, for crying out loud. You spelled court martial. What? You're all run back to the hill. You did. You can see the original letter. Yeah. That's court funny. martial, I think. Court martial. I'm gonna borrow your pen, son. Enforcement, sir. I request trial by court martial. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Didn't take your bluff. Nope. <clears throat> taking your bullshit. Let's do this and get rid of <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Ought to have you all shot. This is nothing less than an act of mutiny while we prepare for the goddamn invasion of Europe. You can consider yourself lucky that we are on the eve of the largest action in the history of warfare, which leaves me no choice. Spare your lives. Now get out of my office. Get out of my sight. 
The division has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. The idea Same is that. for non-infantry types who who are vital to the coming invasion, such as doctors and chaplains, to take jump training there. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. I'm losing easy company? War if it needs you elsewhere. We're gonna be happy. Well, who's the replacement though, right? Don't be momentarily happy. <laughs> You're taking a gamble, right? Yeah. Sure. Could be another one just like it. Worse. Guessing that's... Wait, isn't the only guy in charge? I, I, I would I would guess that that's him. They're in good hands. I trust him. <laughs> Oh, sometimes you play some bad guys. <laughs> I know. He plays a good bad guy. Great as bad guys. Yeah. Is all this real? Yeah, yeah. Well, some of it's from the omen. Some of these tales knocked up. A few lads actually, so you can get your mince pies on some of this Jerry Clobber, if you know what I mean. What? Not really. <laughs> hey, Matt, you got a Luger? I'm dying to get my hands on a real Luger. Boy, she sure is a doozy. Yeah, it's Pucker, isn't it? What? Hey? What? Hey, Penny! <laughs> Hey, mate! You're having a bar off if you think you're off in your net. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Well, good luck. Good to see you, mate. He's just gonna try to walk away with it? Yeah. <laughs> he said he wanted to get his hands on one. <laughs> the estuary of the Doof River divides two beachheads, codenamed Utah, here, and Omaha, here. Seaborne infantry will hit these beaches in force oh. at a date and time to be specified. Dread to shut up. <sighs> Easy Company will destroy that garrison. No, they stop wasting much as I do. I still got my shoot, my reserve shoot, my main west, my M1. Why are you keeping the brass knuckles? I can use some brass knuckles. <laughs> yes. Anything for me? Nope. I love these big long shots. Yeah, sure. So anyway, there's, like, there's so, so many, many actors here, you know? There's so yeah. many people in the background, too. It's over! It has to be all on camera. Well, I mean, the green screen wasn't to the good, like... Like, I feel like it'd be no more noticeable if it was the green screen back then, you know? 2001 sure. with this not locked off camera, yeah. Is you did not cover? sign your GI life insurance policy. You go on over and see Sergeant Evans at the headquarters company tent. Boys, don't let your families miss out on ten thousand dollars. That's it. Yeah. And back then, I guess. I mean, back then, yeah, it was no. a lot more. Going his brother in Italy, Henry, killed in Monte Casino. I see he's the only other. Well, I'm sure son. he doesn't know. Damn. What do you think I should do? For me, I tell him. A couple of hours before we jump. I don't know. That was all one shot. Yeah. That was crazy. Does he have another brother? Because didn't they like usually pull out sons whenever they were like the last? That's the Saving Private Ryan story, right? Sure. Yeah. Soldiers of the regiment. Tonight is the night of night. This kind of familiar too. Yeah. Today, as you read this, you are en route to the great adventure for which you have trained for over two years. That's why they gave us ice cream. <laughs> uh, Bill Garnier's brother. Hell of a way to find out your brother died. Okay, so it was him. 
There was a guy huh? that kept showing up, and I'm like, that guy looks a lot like Wahlberg. Oh. No, it was Donnie Wahlberg. Donnie Wahlberg? Yeah, his brother. Mm-hmm. The one who uh, married to Jenny McCarthy. <clears throat> you don't know Donnie Wahlberg? No. You would know him from something. I'm trying to think of what he's, what he's been in. Nope. I can show you a picture of him. Nope. Okay. I refuse to show him a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> you refused mine already. <laughs> Just refuse to understand <laughs> This guy. Mm. Okay. He looks like a Wahlberg. I mean, I recognize mm-hmm. him. I didn't know he was a Wahlberg. Yeah. yeah. At one point earlier, I was like, is that Michael Fassbender? But he never showed back up. I don't think it was. Might not have been. It might. I don't know. I think it was the main. Uh, yeah. The guy. He's... The guy watching the movie. Was it him? Yeah. Yeah. He's in this. The guy watching the movie. Okay. I just he never showed back up again. Sorry. The. the just flicker. get started. All right. He showed up one time. I thought. Okay. But I kept doubting, and I kept thinking, I must have seen this guy. I just thought it was him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, they're wearing a uniform. I get it. Yeah. Hit hit the little rewind button. And go back to that list and look for. No, I refuse. Fassbender. That's how I saw the Wahlberg one. Hey there. Burton, P. Christensen, Michael Fosman. So he's in it somewhere. It's crazy how detailed they can be with all of the uh, the names, right? Because they're real people. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's awesome. Usually it's like... And their Infantry Man nicknames. Infantry Man 2. Yeah. Yeah. Walter S. Smokey Gordon Jr. Yeah. You know? Skinny. Mo. Bull. Yeah, they worked with a lot of veterans on this. I mean, not just the people who played the characters, but they did surveys of like what people wore at yeah. certain times, like the football helmets and the plane. Mm-hmm. M forty three jackets. Trying to be as accurate. And Old man on bicycle, which is really cool. Damn. I'm glad they did that because yeah, like especially now, like it, I mean, it only gets harder and harder to get that information, especially from like a first hand type of source. Oh you yeah, know? Mm-hmm. and it's not like memory necessarily is a hundred percent, but. So it's probably the closest you're going to get to some of the actual events that happened there. Yeah, and you have, like, oh, this piece of equipment was manufactured and distributed, but, like, maybe only 10,000 of them were made, you know, and only during this part of the war. Sure. And, you know, it was there for stuff. six months, and then yeah. the next time it was something else, sure. So, and, like, we do have memoirs and stuff um, that survived past. Mm-hmm. Like, Letters as well, and so. stuff as well. Which Band of Brothers is a book um, that this is based off from. I guess I can't say the memoirs because it would say who survived. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so I couldn't say that. Don't do that. I love the one where it's like when uh, uh, Sobel messed up the thing. It's like, he only messed up one run. And the guy's like, yeah, I fumble grenades all the time. It's like, shit. <laughs> 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 that was good. Uh, yeah, like, but I was also a, like, is that a thing that's going to come back or something? You've got to have you know? absolute faith in the guy leading you, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things, too, is like you don't want to have all... If all those soldiers said, I want to leave, well, what's the issue that they want to leave? They came this far. What's going on? I don't have every other NCO and sergeant of my other platoon saying that they want to leave. Yeah. It must be this platoon is having an issue. Sure. Yeah. And no one asked. He didn't ask about it or anything, but he got to the the cause of it all. What Winters was saying, like, they all went through this hell because they wanted to be next to the guy that's the best. Mm -hmm. Right? Like Yeah, they didn't. They wanted to volunteer with other guys that volunteered that want it rather than somebody who's drafted and is forced to be there and sure, doesn't yeah. want to fight. Yeah. That's the first guy who's maybe going to leave because he didn't want to be there to begin with, you know? Yeah. Or not the guy you want to trust necessarily in your hole, so. I understand. Yeah, I think Sobo will do very well as a teacher. I mean, that's one of the things. I think that he could be, be a nice good, people against him. Oh, yeah. Good <laughs> teacher, he does. You know? But sometimes, like, you might not be good for field. Or, you know, maybe Rick could teach people. But he shouldn't lead them out in the field because he doesn't know where the hell he's <laughs> well, no, going. Yeah, he you shouldn't know? have. He would have cut that fence. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't like, have questioned it. <laughs> sir, you're a whole grid off. What the grid? In like both situations. Wait, we're in France. <laughs> in both situations where he like failed, it was him getting lost or him being like, "We're in the wrong position." You know, sure, like yeah. it seemed like the map. Like yeah. he didn't know where he was. Well, going. and he also got flustered and then made a bad decision. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, he had like, like winners. Like he should stay here. We have a good ambush location. He definitely looked scared before he did his first jump. Yeah, but I'm sure a lot of men still jumped. jumped. Yeah. yeah, they did five that day. Yeah, I can tell you a little bit about Sobo after the war because, like, he's done from the show. Mm-hmm. Um, Back at camps. Yeah. yeah, so he did um, serve on the front lines. Like, he got an infantry medal and stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, after the war, he struggled with PTSD and mm-hmm. attempted suicide. Um, blinded himself as a result. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate how common that is. Yeah. I mean, even the the veterans talking in the beginning, like guys that didn't get to go because they were classified 4F, mm -hmm. just, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Want something so bad and not get it. Yeah, and, like, I mean, I can't put my mind in theirs, but, like, you don't want to be seen as a coward mm -hmm. or you don't want to let down the people who are going. Sure, because all your brothers. friends got to go. Yeah. I wonder how long I could have faked being able to hear on both sides well. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to go, because I could use my ear as, like, well, I can't go. I, you know, I'm disabled. But if I wanted to, I wonder how long I could fake it. I don't know. The worst thing would be, like, you know, all right, you know, Whiteley, watch this yeah. side over here, and you just don't hear. Like, yep. Someone coming, <laughs> and like you all get ambushed while you're on like guard duty or something. Like, I imagine know? they do. Finally, I'm being attacked. Yes. Uh huh. What? What? <laughs> like, they probably do a physical. They probably check uh, your eyes. I wonder if they check your ears. They do, but like you know, the invisible dis disabilities are the things you know. Like, if you're missing a leg, people notice that. Yeah. yeah. Sure. When you have yeah. a, 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 one ear that doesn't work, I mean, I, it's less noticeable. I, I was able to beat all the hearing tests when I was a kid because I could. Test was poorly designed. Yeah, sure. Anytime because I didn't they... hear something, I just raised my right hand. I'm like, all right, well, you passed. Yeah, it's been long enough. Yeah, and they quit lying. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was a kid. Yo, shit. <laughs> but if I wanted to go, I bet you. I wonder if I could beat it. You know? Yeah. No, I get what you I mean. Don't, I wouldn't want to go. Kind of like uh, Captain self, America, but... right? When he kept yeah. going, trying to find yeah. new ways. Like, no, look, I can do this. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Like, my uh, my grandpa was in World War Two. He was um, a radio operator on a bomber. Yeah. And w I had to re re go through the story and everything just recently from my dad and from this news article because uh, Colson had a project that was like about like ancestry and that kind of stuff too. And you had yeah. to like, look back at like grandparents and where you came from and all this stuff. And uh, the, the story with him was that he was the uh, he was on the bomber as a radio operator. They ran five successful missions. On the sixth mission, um, they took damage on the plane and he the the rear gunner i forget what his other job was he had to get down because i don't know if they were like trying to figure out how to get back or how far they could make it mm -hmm. with the damage and stuff too like they weren't like shot down but they were like we're not going to make it back home so my grandpa got into the gunner seat to start defending against the the planes that were coming at him and a bullet hit the the bubble thing whatever the enclosure it is. yeah mm -hmm. and split and hit him in the head and they uh, they got him out of that. Thought he was dead. Everyone except for the pilot jumped while he was he was going to try to like crash land safely and not just let it crash. So they got it across back into like the UK or whatever into like Allied territory and crash landed. And he survived the crash landing and the hit in the head and woke up later in like a, a hospital and stuff. Wow. Jeez. So he. Got like his Purple Heart and all that kind of stuff yeah. too, but he was close to dead, and he wouldn't have had my dad yet when he was that young. Yeah. So. Wow. But if not, if that yeah, he wouldn't have been here. Yeah. So it was a crazy story. I was like, dang. So my great grandfather was in <laughs> World War II, and uh, he would always like tell us stories. But every time we leave, my dad be like, that's, "No, that's true. He's lying to you." <laughs> like, yes, he went, but like. Eventually, I was like, you know, he like, like oh yeah, I was a, you know the third time I was a prisoner of war. Like he would just like riff, you know. I'm pretty sure at one point I finally ended up reading the Count of Monte Cristo and being like, that's how he escaped. <laughs> <laughs> like I think he's just stealing from Alexander Dubois. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what was real with him. Sure, but he really enjoyed telling all the stories. I'll tell you that. Sure, I know that story was real, yeah. and I assume like he went in, did five missions, the same yeah. mission got shot down, and then probably wasn't in anymore. Sure. Probably, you know, yeah. being sh being like shrapneled into the head and crash landing, they probably sent him home. Yeah, I would it's, imagine it would take you so long to recover from yeah. that. that. Yeah, it might have been over by then. I can just clearly remember, like my dad being like, "That's that's not what happened," and then my mom would be like, "Yes, it is. You wouldn't lie." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my great grandfather was infantry in the army and served in Europe and the Pacific. He didn't talk about it much, at least mm -hmm. to me, but um, we have a bunch of stuff from him from the war 
Yeah. So like you can track his unit and things. Gotcha. That's cool. But well, we have a picture of him in Germany shitting on a Nazi flag. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hell of a picture. That's awesome. That's a hell of a picture. Put that in every museum. <laughs> I need to find it and try to bring it in. Yeah. So that's you can put cool. it in one of these. Oh, but. that's great. Yeah. My. Uh, I can't believe we have Nazis again. My grandfather on my... They never left. I know. Yeah. <laughs> there was a bunch up in Columbus this week, last weekend. Bunch Where of Nazis? There? Yeah. Like outside a drag show, thinking they're doing something. Oh I mean, gosh. No, I'm not going to say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, they're not real Nazis. They're wannabe Nazis. But I'm like, I don't want them to go, to go the distance or anything. So I'm you want to join that? I don't want them to prove that. I don't want them to prove that they're wannabe Nazis. Yeah. Just never mind, never mind. Or I don't want them to be a lot Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, Kevin. No, uh, my grandfather was in the Navy mm-hmm. in World War II. He was stationed on a, a destroyer escort. Mm. And, um, like, it was a green crew. None of them had much experience. And he was the only one on the boat that knew how to take a ship into port. Yeah. And he was, he was <laughs> like a machinist. He was like an engineer. So they called him up to the bridge to command the deck crew into port. Wait, what happened to anyone else that was... <laughs> they didn't have the experience to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, for times, Aaron. I feel like you bring that first. Yeah, so yeah. Guy who can, well, I can get out there. I'm good. They're training these paratroopers for two years. Yeah. Yeah. No, getting getting back to the docks is... It's, I've, I've done Sea of Thieves. It can be tricky. Yeah, you gotta get true. the right point, get close enough, not crash your boat into everything, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, and you're dealing with actual physics in a port where your boat displaces water. And the water that it displaces displaces other boats into the docks and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So you got to go specific speeds and yeah. give Slow, spacings and stuff. Get a turn. You, uh, you can't just like you can't come up and just go like. No, no. <laughs> you got to drift it in there. You're steering thousand tons. But I'm no, so that was always fun. Of, like we don't have anybody, and some guy comes up and is like, "Well, I've done Sea of Thieves. So I'll try it." Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no. It's like I've I've played flight simulators. Let me see if I can play in the seven forty seven. Things with instincts on the plane. Yeah. And then my my other grandfather on my mother's side, he was stationed in Alaska during Korea. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Well, as a first episode, it has way more actors than I thought I would recognize. Sure, yeah. a lot. Like at least yeah. 20. A lot I of knew, people before they were famous. Yeah. There's others that I feel like I recognize and I don't know their name either. Yeah. I'm just like, I know this guy from something. Yeah. <laughs> so, like that one guy I saw and I'm like, I thought of Mixic Spiddling. That's what I thought of. Like, some know. kind of trickster dude. But that's not who he is. Something from D.C. I can't think what he is. Yeah, that trickster. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm like, okay. That makes, yeah. that makes I a little bit more sense. I knew that Schwimmer was in this. And he oh, was an did? asshole. Really? Oh, that's all I knew. I've always been extremely impressed with his... Performances that aren't just on a sitcom. You yeah, know? sure. I always thought he was really good, and or he nailed it. Like I instantly, I, I just started to hate him. Yeah. yeah, you know that's what you want. Or a giraffe. Or a giraffe. Yeah. He's a giraffe. Madagascar. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Never seen I've him. seen him in. Six I thought days. you were doing the thing. Was like I'm a giraffe. Well, I was referencing that. <laughs> oh, okay. He's yeah. a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, Why are you bringing up that meme? He's also in Six Days, Seven Nights. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's the husband that gets left mm-hmm. on the island. With yep. Harrison Ford and yeah. uh, whatever yeah. name Anne was. Hesch, I think. Anne Hesch. Hesch. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I thought it was interesting. I'm curious to see how it plays out, but all the training stuff. I, I love yeah. the... I, I like seeing, like, their groupings kind of come together with stuff, right? Like, the one guy who's like, get out there, start running. And yeah. then, like, more members of his platoon come up with him, mm-hmm. you know? Like, it just adds that camaraderie of, like... It's not just yeah. one of us, it's all of us together. And if you're running, we're running. Yeah. Sure. Which is what they're trying to kind of get, is like that brother. That is. Yeah, trust the guy yeah. beside you. So he can be the enemy that you're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless of that one guy's Catholic and that one guy's Jewish, <laughs> which is a fan, you guys should yeah. trust each other and be brothers, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, their motto after the hill, like that word means stand alone, but they twisted it to be we stand alone. Like we stand alone together. Yeah. That makes more sense because I'm like, remember our motto, Karahi. I'm like, the mountain, <laughs> the hill that you had to climb every day. <laughs> like, fuck that place, you know? <laughs> but no, okay. Yeah, it's that. I guess the stuff that you remember the most, you know, the stuff that's really hard that you really hate, but that's the stuff that sticks with you. Sure. So stuff that you didn't think you could do. Like I, I'm not gonna know, be like. I remember going to three days for football, but 
I can remember this, this, and this, but I can't remember everything we did. I, remember I, puking? I, I can remember the word. I remember the puking. Well, that was because, like I said, <laughs> right until you puke meant the time limit's on you. Yeah. So I could just be like, okay, blah, you know, and be done, or I could just run for the rest of practice. Yeah. Depends on what we're currently I, doing. <laughs> when, when he started doing the one thing, being like, I think they need a good meal, I'm like, I hope he doesn't do the one yeah. thing. I like spaghetti. I was like, oh, man, that'd be terrible to throw up. But yeah. I could see this guy, that that's what he's going to do is get them all eaten and get them out running afterwards, thinking yeah. that they're going to have their mm-hmm. their in-class time. Yeah. Yeah. How many episodes are in this season? Nine. Nine? I mean, the early series. access, you can get almost all, like, like half of the first season. You can get more than half. Patreon.com said Blindleaf? Dang. I'm not good at math anymore. That's you can get crazy. to the fifth episode. That's, it's like... The, the. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Band of Brothers. There is more right now over at Patreon.com slash Blindwave where you can watch quite a ways into the war. Our reaction of this incredible series. Thanks, guys. <laughs>